This is a short video about how to collect algae from streams. Hi, I'm Morgan Viss, an algal biologist at Ohio University. The method I will be showing is a standard research method and ensures our results are comparable to other studies. This method takes only a few minutes in the field and can easily be done by field crews doing surveys of macroinvertebrates and fish. Before we get started with our work, let's take a minute to talk about algae on rocks. There's a brownish coating on the rock, which is a biofilm. This biofilm is made up of bacteria, fungi, and different types of algae in a gelatinous, goopy matrix. Algae, like plants, use the green pigment, chlorophyll A, for photosynthesis. Much of the algae on the rocks belong to the group diatom. In addition to chlorophyll A, diatoms have chlorophyll C, a brownish pigment. This is what gives the rocks this dirt-like color. But it's not dirt, it's a living microscopic community. You may have learned about using macroinvertebrates to assess stream quality. We can also use diatoms in the same way. The sample of algae we collect can be analyzed in the lab for chlorophyll A, which will be used to quantify the amount of all algae on the rocks. After all, algae is the food for many macroinvertebrates. So let's get started. First, we need to make an assessment of the stream, looking for a long stretch that has water moving quickly over the rocks. This is called a riffle. We will only be sampling in the riffle and not standing water or pools. We sample from a single riffle, and if you have the choice of riffles, sample the one with more sunlight. Here you see me randomly choosing 10 rocks. We start at the downstream end of the riffle and walk upstream. This is done so that we don't make the water cloudy or disturb the rocks we will be picking up to scrub. We want to make sure we sample random rocks. So as I walk upstream, I am not looking down, but instead am picking up the first rock I touch so that our sample will be representative of the stream. And I have no bias in my sampling by looking for the rock with the most algae. Stream side, we will lay out the rocks and get to work. Our sampling equipment is simple. We have a view box or plastic container, an O-ring, a toothbrush, and either a syringe or a turkey baster. First, we will get stream water to scrub our rocks. I have a 50 milliliter tube here. If using this size tube, you want to get 30 milliliters of water to use for scrubbing. The important thing is that you will be able to get all of the water in your container when you're done scrubbing. We are using an O-ring to mark the area of the rock that we will be scrubbing. Hold the O-ring securely on the top side of the rock and scrub with a brush. We need to know the area scrubbed later when we calculate the amount of chlorophyll A per area. If we want to quantify the diversity of diatoms on the rock, we will need this measurement of area scrubbed. Rinse with the stream water and repeat. Once you are finished with a rock, it is usually obvious where you've scrubbed. An O-ring is perfect for this work because it's flexible. Even if you pinch it into an oval to fit on the rock, the area will stay the same. Keep scrubbing until you've finished all 10 rocks. Then when you're all done, it's time to suck up all that water with either a syringe or a turkey baster into your tube. Voila, your algae rock scrub sample. Now, you're ready to take your sample back to the lab to look at the diatoms and measure the chlorophyll A. Don't forget to practice catch and release. Throw that rock back in the stream to be colonized again by the algae.